this computer. Hello, everybody. We're recording this, and we're on uh, Facebook, and we're all over the place, and we're about, uh, oh, 30 seconds late getting on, because as usual, I'm a jerk about this. Uh, let me see here. Where do we go? Oh, yeah, we got a whole bunch of people waiting. Uh, and uh, here we go. Admit all. Okay, joining, joining, joining. These are the people who are joining our, our gathering here. Uh, let me just also see that we're on Facebook okay. Uh, I want to make sure we're we're going across. There we are. Okay. Right. Hey, look, there's Mandy. Oh, uh, she's here early. Make sure we're, and, we're and, going across. There oh, wait a minute. Hold okay. on a second. I got to do something. Hey, look, there's mm -hmm. Mandy. I got oh, she's I, I here early. Sure hold, on and, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Oh, boy. Here we go. Mute site. There we go. All righty. Now we're fine. Okay. Hello, everybody. How are you this afternoon? Hello to Steve Hi. Bender. Hello to Rick Sheckman. Hello, Mandy. Hello, Andrew Hi. Deutsch. Hello, Edward Berger. That's right. And, uh, here comes uh, Mike Chisholm. Let me admit him to the group. Uh, how you all doing? Good. Good. Okay, Becky, uh, did you have a nice lunch? Yes, I did. Yes, he went out. To, he he told me yesterday. He said I might be a little late today because I'm going out to lunch. But I guess. Well, I skipped the trip to the comic book store. Oh, you did? Just for this? Yes, Bark was going to the comic book store. And I'm like, no, I got to go home. <laughs> oh, well, thank you so much. Also, because the car had to be moved by 4 o'clock, because that's when they start ticketing them. So I see. What you do is you drive your car. Down to the subway. Down to the subway. And then you park there all day. But well, then... no. Where I park, you can park between 10 and 4. I see. And then between four and seven, you can park, and then you can park from then on. And if you miss that four o'clock deadline? Oh, there's a cop car that goes up and down that street at four o'clock, right? So right now, they are ticketing anyone who might still be on that. Okay, they don't, they, don't, they don't tell you. Sometimes I've seen them tow cars, too. Wow. How much, how much is the ticket? I don't know. Oh, so you've never gotten one? No. No. I, would have, I would have thought eventually you would have gotten one. No, it's probably 75 bucks or 100 bucks. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello to uh, Steve Bender. How's everything downtown? Good, good. Um, we had an interesting weekend. I know you'd be interested in this. We went to see Louis C.K. Oh, really? At the uh, Hulu Theater, the theater at Madison Square Garden. And, you know, he sold out two nights of you know, 6,000 people. Really? Uh, good for him. And it was fantastic. We laughed for an hour and a half nonstop. He was outrageous. Um, didn't really mention his personal life. He alluded to it. You know, maybe I mean, he was on the stage. There was this giant light thing that just said "sorry" behind him. <laughs> <laughs> so, that, so that was pretty much all he had to say about it. But um, he started right off with a twenty-minute routine about pedophilia. I mean, he was just—he was—he was fearless. It was—it um, was really, really funny. You know something? He, um, uh, I mean, I, I think he's a great comic. Great comic. And having known Louis, I like him too. You know, they, that ha that adds into it. And I'm really sorry with what happened to him. Oh, oh, I, right. I think it was uncalled for. Uh, you know, I mean, um, uh, it, 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 I, it, it's like we're equating all these things with rape. Right. You know, if you rape somebody. You're going to get the same penalty as if you whipped out your penis or if you patted them on the ass right. if you said nice dress yep. or you look good in that surgical gown. That's ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, there are, there are the Weinsteins and the Cosby's, but they're not all that same. Everywhere it's not all the same. And don't, 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 don't uh, uh, minimize what they did no, by that's... going after a Louis C.K. for what he did. Well, that's the problem is that they're all mixing it into one big thing. Yeah, yeah. it's like all the same thing. Yeah. But it's amazing. You know, we got to see him on Saturday and on Thursday. We saw David Cross working on a new act at a tiny club. So two of my very favorite comedians. Wow, that's uh, great. It was amazing. I mean, both of them. There was, where, where was Louis C.K. in? He was Louis C.K. The... was at the Old Felt Forum, which is now the Hulu Theater at the Garden. The Hulu Theater at the Garden? Yeah. 
Oh boy. Yeah. Well, I guess uh, I guess uh, Mr. Felt couldn't afford the name. <laughs> I think Mr. Felt is long dead. <laughs> was was there a Felt? Yes, Irving Felt. Oh, oh, okay. All right. But they named it after and he had a forum. <laughs> yeah, but I mean they were they were nice to him is what it was because he did something good for them, I guess. He paid for it. Yeah, oh, I paid for it. Well, then why should they take his name off of it? But someone else paid more. <laughs> <laughs> I think he was the president of Madison Square Garden in the 60s. I could be mistaken about that. Yeah. I think that's right. That sounds right to me. Yeah. Uh, but so it's now the Hulu. Yeah, it's been a bunch of things. Now it's the Hulu. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 you know, whoever has the bigger checkbook gets their name on the door. Yeah, I, 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 is that good? I guess it is. I guess it helps pay for the it play, pays for the place. I mean, what, what, what's the uh, Yankee? What's Yankee Stadium? Does it have a name other than Yankee Stadium? No. Nope. Has somebody but the cried? Mets stadium changed. Mets stadium changed. Well, but Shay, not City Field, right? It's the the city city field. Yeah, but it's city not going to be is... City Field in a year or two because their contract is up and they're not going to re-up. It's, it's oh really? City Does Field it go for back City to Mets. Being the Mets. What? Does it go back to being Mets? <laughs> no, it's going to be the Alex Bennett Field because Alex will pay for it. <laughs> what, what, what is what is the actual right? what is the actual name of that field where the Mets play? City Field. City field, no, is has it always mean City Field with Citibank as the yeah, yeah that's how it was built. Yeah. That's been, how it was open. It opened as City open. Field. Okay, all right. I thought Do it might have had a name like, you know, um, I can't remember what had a name. No, the former ago. stadium was Shea Stadium, named after William Shea. Yeah. Do you think that um, like locally? Can, okay, so locally, our hockey rink is called Prospera Place. Prospera is a credit union. And I happen to know they pay about 14000 a month to have their name as the hockey arena. So, and I, all these other stadiums do this as well. Do you think that the New York Yankees pay themselves to name it Yankee <laughs> Stadium so they get the tax breaks? Like, do you think that they actually do that? Or are they just saying, no, we're going to forego um, Yankees? It's interesting. That would be one of the most interesting tax breaks I ever heard of. It's advertising. No, no, no. Like Prospera Credit yeah. Union here, they, they do that. They pay for it. They get There's the, an argument the for that, isn't there, Shaggy? I guess in theory. No. If they're paying themselves, I mean, because because you, you pay out an amount of money, it, it doesn't necessarily save you the, as much taxes as you paid out. Yeah. Except it's an expense. But you're already going to get a you pay yourself break from the city break. anyway. So. It's the same if if I offer my services for free to someone, the value of those services isn't isn't tax deductible at, at the same. I mean, I still end up losing money on it. I still pay. Oh, I'm not yeah. saying they don't lose money. I'm saying that I wonder if there's some sort of transaction on paper that they get because it is a marketing expense. They get to write that off. I highly doubt so, it. Or do they just let it just go and say, no, nah, fuck it. We're just going to keep it Yankee Stadium because it's yeah. cool. I know this show would get even more interesting if we talk in more depth about accounting. <laughs> <laughs> that was, you know, the stadium in San Francisco has had like six names. Since oh, yeah. Town. What's the current name? I don't even know what the current name is. I can't is. remember. It was Pac Bell originally, wasn't it? It was Pac Bell originally. And yeah, then, I don't know what it is today. Yeah, it was Pac Bell. And then it was, uh, God, I don't know. I left after that, you know. It wasn't the Schwartzman Arena? It wasn't the Schwartzman Arena. No, no. I couldn't afford it. It was the Cow Palace. <laughs> now look at uh, look at uh, Vernon Nunn. Why are you all masked up and yeah, why are you all masked up? In your own home. No, I'm not in my home. I'm at a state park and uh, they have reimposed masking indoors. Oh. I want that green screen mask. <laughs> You're at a state uh, park. Now, where are you in the state park? Are you in a, uh, are you, are you staying at the state park? Yeah, we're still, we decided to take a long weekend with our daughter. Uh-huh. Okay. And, uh, so we're at General Butler State Park, which is only about an hour, uh, northeast of Louisville. Where okay. My home so is. in the room, when you're in your room, you're obviously not in your room because I don't think you have oh. brochures hanging on the walls. In your room. No, no, no. This is the lobby. This is the closest place I could get internet. Oh, yeah. see. Okay. All right. Well, all right. 
you know, everybody today looks like they're holding up a bank, you know. <laughs> I wonder We're about if, to see a manifesto. I wonder if there's a no mask mandate for bank robbers, you know, so we can <laughs> see who the hell you are. Yeah, that's possible. Uh, yeah, it's uh, I, I was talking to Albert today and uh, he uh, he lives in Florida. And between Florida and Texas, where Charlie is, by the way, they account for, what is it, 80% of all the cases in the United States right now? I think it's one third. It's, it's one, one third, third of all the new cases. Yeah. yeah. But their, hey. governors, their governors are doing all they can do. So. Yeah. Well, they said that if they were their own country, they were counted as just a country, they'd be the two highest countries in the world with COVID right now. Yep. <laughs> what a badge of honor Don't, doesn't your governor there have any sense that he's doing wrong he doesn't <laughs> give a fuck <laughs> but, it's, but it's the he's immigrants not... who are bringing it in it's not the patrons of the state yeah the says as long as Biden... getting in boats in florida i don't know how they got there but you know yeah yeah, yeah DeSantis <laughs> says that all biden needs to do is concentrate on the wall the yeah. governor yeah. of Florida said this will pass. Yeah, it'll pass. Right. Yeah. Hey, how, that's a way. By the way, I want to say hello to trucker Steve, who's here. Steve, how are you this, today? Good. How are you? Good. How are you doing? I'm good. Yeah. He uh, he had uh, he lost both kidneys, right? Mm -hmm. And so you're now the dialysis kid. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How's it going for you? Oh, good so far. Um, about 30 pounds, 35 pounds lighter. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, should be not too much longer to complete all the, the testing phase for the transplant to happen. So, you know, maybe by the end of the year, I might have it. I don't know. Oh, great. It's a long process. Yeah, I know. I know. It's a long process here in this country, too. Yeah. Are you making any friends in dialysis? Um, uh, yeah, some of the nurses I talk to, but that's about it. Oh, yeah. really? Because there's a TV show here in America called Be Positive about people in dialysis, and they're all friends. It's the group of mm -hmm. dialysis are friends, and I, I just wondered if that actually happens in real life. Well, actually, yeah. When I go in, I see the same people every time. Oh, really? I'm usually in the same... Uh, same section same bed or whatever yeah for it to be done so but i don't most of the time i don't talk to anyone i just watch the tv or look at my phone now do you how long does it take three hours three hours okay there's no quick dialysis right no the reason i ask is i was watching a thing yesterday on charging electric cars and then mm -hmm. you can do a fast charge or you can do a slow charge. And it depends on what cords you're using. If you use the cord that came with the car, it's going to be a slow charge. and going to take you forever. But if you get another kind of cord and use DC power, it can go. So I was just wondering if maybe there was a faster uh, dialysis and a non-fast dialysis. Oh, they just they suck up your blood. They clean it, yeah. put it back in. Yeah. Um, I had some antibiotics taken for my white blood cells this morning, and they do that again on Wednesday, mm -hmm. and then that'll be it for that. Yeah. And then they want me to get a hepatitis shot, but the hospital is humming and hawing about uh, mandating uh, a third COVID shot for patients. So because of the Delta variant, but right now, there's no outbreak up there, so. What do we do? You called, Marjorie, you called our, our pharmacy, and you said, can we get the uh, third shot, uh, you know? Yeah, they said we're not um, priority. Yeah. Priority are Your immune system. system's not compromised. Well, yeah. it's organ transplants, it's cancer patients, it's real serious. Well, I'm a cancer patient. <laughs> we yeah. to get a doctor, that's what she said. They're not taking chemo. I, I was, did yeah. well, but I have chemo? No, I wasn't taking chemo. I was doing uh, radiation. But your autoimmune system is not compromised. 
Well, we, we don't know. Look at me. Do I look like I have a compromised immune system? Absolutely. Compromise something. You know. Uh, but uh, uh, obviously, Trucker Steve has a compromised immune system. So we'll see what happens up there in Canada. They don't, they don't, they don't know yet. You know, I mean, they should just say, hey, everybody go get another shot. Cases are apparently going up a little bit. They've, they were down to below like 100 cases a day. In all of Canada. And now, now they're getting 500 a day. So is that in all of Canada? That's perfect. No, that's just Ontario. Ontario. Okay. But there's no plans right now to lock it down. And quite frankly, I don't want them to lock it down. Too many people have lost their homes and their businesses, and it's 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 not worth it. Yeah, I mean, a lot of don't. Maybe you just have to treat it like it's here forever and just just deal with it. Well, I think if everybody got the vaccine, it would go. Yeah, away. It, it would. It, it, yeah, those are the ones that are being a pain in the fucking ass. Yeah, and that's why I think it should be done mandatory. Either you don't get it, you don't get unemployment, you don't get your taxes refund. Yeah, yeah. If you if you got a job, and your employer wants it, you don't do it. Bye bye. Yeah. At the school, unless we get a certain amount of shots, as a, as a child, you gotta get tough on these people. Yeah. It's not going to end if you don't get tough on them. Well, I'll tell you something. We did something today. Today in New York, they started, uh, right, Steve? They and mandatory, Chucky, they started a show of mandatory show of a vaccine in order to be able to get in to yeah. a restaurant or a bar a or place. any enclosed place, like a gym or yeah. whatever. And we went up. We were going to go get our regular yearly flu shots today. So we went to the Rite Aid. There was a line in there. And I'm thinking, I said to Marjorie, let's get the hell out of here. And we figured what the line was, was people who hadn't gotten the no. COVID shot, who now that they have to have a COVID shot in order to get into a restaurant or a bar or whatever. Or a job. Yeah, no, the lines for shots, you know, we have a city MD <laughs> street and it's been packed every day. Yeah. yeah. And and like, like things were in the beginning, actually. Yeah. Uh, and it has to do with people who have finally gone, well, okay, I better go get it. It's yeah. going to be awfully hard to enforce, I think. You know, so many people are getting fake. You know, they, they just have pictures I'm of their about, They've been talking about those white folks right. being it, fake. Well, they, have had, they have ways of telling whether they're fake. Well, they're supposed to match it to ID, but I, you know, I was at those two comedy shows, and they had a <laughs> vaccine and ID. They didn't look at the ID, though. They just glanced at your phone and sent you right in. Saying those things and people. Well, if you if you if, if you have it on your phone, that's probably more, better than a card, just yeah. simply because anybody can forge a card, but they can't forge those because those have to go to the state records. Right, but they don't know if it's my phone or my passport. Your friend's phone. Right. right. Or your they, friend's phone. Well, my right. friend can just forward me his you know thing, right? So. They, they have to match it to driver's license or ID. That takes a lot of work. If Shaggy could actually have mine on his phone, if I simply yeah. give him all the information he yeah. has to fill out in yeah. order to... Or forward to me your QR code or right. whatever that thing is. Well, that's it. Well, I don't think I even need to send you the QR code. What I could do is tell you what date I got the shot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I can go online and they would send and me... And then you could say, hey, I'm Alex. Uh, I'm... I'm here, here's the information, and then you could just get one of the passports for you. Plus, do you really yeah. think? Well, do you really think all these restaurants who lost so much money are going to yeah. vigorously enforce this? Are going to turn people away? I, I well, nope. think nobody asked me for it today when I went to the restaurant. But they didn't ask today. They no. didn't ask me today either. Well, it's not going to be enforced until September thirteenth. Oh, 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 I see. until September thirteenth. What do they think happens on September? Yeah, 13th? I don't know. They're giving people a month. Donald Trump comes back as president. Well, right. Wait a minute. March they the they, announced, they announced this date like two or three months, weeks ago, right? Didn't they? Yeah, today is the day, but it's not enforced until September. For some, uh, I don't know why. Well, it's really we get shots. That's why. So it's a month away. Yeah. So in a month, this thing well, can go rampant. Shots. And on top of that, they're holding this super spreader event <laughs> in the Central Park on the weekend. Uh, on Sunday. Yeah. But also in four other... All the boroughs have one at smaller venues. One for each night. Oh, boy. 
It's and then it's presented by Clive Davis. He's like the biggest name on the poster, you know. Is he like a hundred? Huh? Is he, he like hundred years old? I think, there. I think he's yeah. ninety, something like ninety. Yeah, yeah. Everybody, nobody remembers when he stole all that money from uh, Columbia Records. You remember that, Shecky? Vaguely. Yeah, yeah. He uh, he supposedly took care of his his daughter's. Uh, wedding party or something and charged it off to columbia records and they caught him doing that and that's when he got fired from columbia records but nobody ever remembers well that. wasn't that a business expense <laughs> 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 yeah if you've got the right uh, the right accountant i guess yeah sure you know we invite jennifer lopez and we invite bruce springsteen and we invite blah 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 it's a business it's business expense. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, then, uh, uh, well, let's see. Obama probably could have tried, then taken a big oh, tax break for so his party. For that party. Huh? He's getting a lot of flack for that party. It's ridiculous. Why? It's ridiculous. People yeah. flew in in private jets. There was no mandatory uh, mask. I mean, all of it. The money. There was very, there was there was very strict vaccine protocol though. Everyone who was there was vaccinated. Yeah. How was Obama supposed to tell people how they were going to get there? <laughs> yes, exactly. No, but that's what they're complaining yeah. about. Well, Bill Maher talked about this this week, and he was like, you know, who turns down a ride on a private jet when you could get yeah. the, the strictest environmentalist? You know, Al Gore would take a private jet to this. Exactly. Bar. It has. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah. How's everything down in Georgia, Mandy? Or can you talk? I can. Oh. It's okay. Well, it's okay. Same old, same old. Same old, same old. Took my mom to the doctor today. Why'd you take her to the doctor? She just had her like annual checkup. Oh, okay. All right. So so nothing serious. Fine. Yeah. She said her memory test. Huh? Oh, really? I that. They even she... checked my memory and I'm good. I was like, uh, okay. yeah. She's oh, better than oh. Trump did. <laughs> How old is she? She's 81. 81. Same age as you. Same age as me. Wow. Wow. I'm lazy. Some, some this make, that depresses me. Yeah, I could wind up devil, Chick fil A. I could wind up dating oh. your mother. You know. Maybe you did. I'm old enough to date your mother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, somebody here said Edward Burger said maybe you did. No, I said that. He, he said, said that. Oh, I did. laughed at it. So oh, I say, okay. <laughs> I wasn't looking at the screen when I was. Oh, okay, it's okay. Yeah. Jeez. Uh, yeah. So she's she's fine. Well, that's nice. It's nice to know everybody here seems healthy. I mean, Trucker Steve's got his problems, but you know, they suck it out of him twice a week. You know, so he's fine. Uh, well, not huh? fine, but yeah, well, I mean, he's He's with us, okay? okay. That's above ground. It, That's all the matter. It didn't have a negative outcome, is what we're saying. Um, and uh, 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 Charlie, you're you're okay too, right? Yeah. How's the diabetes doing? He had you lost how many toes? Six. Six toes. That's on what? one foot. That's uh, on one foot. Yeah. One foot plus. One foot plus. All, all the toes on one foot. All the toes on my left foot are gone. Really? Yep. So how do you balance? I guess you have to have shoes with an inset, right? Uh, well, I just stuck a whole sock up in there. Yeah, the same. Did you have six toes thing. on your left foot? No. Okay. <laughs> it took. So oh, he had, he had six toes right on his right hand. So, but no, I was going to say. <laughs> yeah, this was many, a couple of years, quite a few years ago now. Yeah, 2015. Yeah. 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 So he's 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 doing he's doing great, and he uh, how's the uh, how's the umpire the uh, teaching umpires how to empire? Well, it's okay except we don't have anywhere near enough, so that's why I'm working so much. Oh really? Because I never see you on the on the nighttime show. Working just about every night a week. Wow, that's incredible. I've dropped ten pounds without even trying. <laughs> oh, from all the working. Yeah. 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 Well, I gained the Did 10 you gain pounds, the COVID-15? So. What? Did everybody gain the COVID-15 or whatever they're calling it? 
I think I gained the COVID twenty. <laughs> I lost. I lost the COVID twenty. So, really? yeah, I'm down too. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, you know, I'm. Uh, I mean, I'm walking. Walking whenever I can. It's been too hot to walk lately, but I've been walking whenever I can and uh, walking a couple of miles a day uh, when I can. You've been bumping into a lot of things. What do you mean bumping into a lot of things? You're bumping in the walls, you're bumping in the. Well, heck, I do that. Yeah, you know, he <laughs> does that, and uh, but I'm taking that. I'm taking this that pregabalin stuff, and that makes me bump into walls. You know, but I have to take it, otherwise my neuropathy acts up. So, you know, do you want me to bump into walls or? Or, no, 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 but you, th those things are happening to you. That's what I'm saying. Well, yeah, but when I get out I and I do some walking for a while, I lose, I get my balance again, it, it, but it's thrown off by the drug. The drug does that. Uh, but they don't mind giving you drugs like that when you're older, because, hey, you're old. You can, you can take it. You know, here, let's give you heroin. How long are you going to live? You, you, it's, a, it's not bad to be an addict if you're not going to live that long. And if you're lucky, you'll overdose. You know? Why not? Yeah. I mean, a a Andrew, do you, are you, do you have a lot of drugs you take, Andrew? I don't take anything. Really? really? Nothing. How old are you? Uh, what's today? In two days, I'll be 55. Really? Yeah. And, have, and no drugs yet. Nothing. I'm trying to think of 55. I don't think I was taking many drugs either. I was on Synthroid by then. Oh, really? Yeah. They thought, found the thyroid when yeah. I was in my 30s. Yeah. Even, even when I weighed 360 plus, I was good blood pressure, good cholesterol. So I've never I got good genes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when I was 55, I had already been taking metformin for three years. You been what? You were what? I started taking metformin when I was fifty-two. That's for what the that's for diabetes. Wow! Uh, Apparently, it didn't work. No, that's after I had it. Oh, <laughs> after you have it. Well, that's how long I've been diabetic. I, I don't know. I see all these ads on TV for all the different drugs that they advertise, especially on the six o'clock news, because the only people watching the six thirty news rather are old people. It's right? true. You turn yeah. on the news at four in the morning, you'll find everything you want to know about bladder leaks. Yeah. <laughs> Sunday morning also. CBS yeah. Sunday morning, no one watches them except old people. Yeah, but I mean the ads are all you know. The, what I love is the the, the ten seconds of message. And the 50 seconds of contradictions. Right. And, and, and during the contradictions, I like to always watch the visuals they're showing. It's always, it's always a having, story. No, but no, but it's always people having a good time while they're telling you it may cause diarrhea, you know, it may cause uh, genital warts. May uh, cause death. <laughs> it may cause death. And this guy's romping around with the kids and playing and so on, you know. Um, and they have to give you all those contradictions, but they take up most of the ad. So, uh, but I, uh, 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 and, and uh, I was, what I like to lately, what I do is I will find the drug they're advertising and then I will go online and find out how much it costs. <laughs> and it's like, you know, $10,000 a shot. What you take something, Shecky, for, uh, for. Uh, I did. It was $20,000. A shot for a her shot? Ex eczema yeah. for the psoriasis. Psoriasis, but and the company that made the drug gave me a card. It cost me five dollars. <laughs> 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 but somewhere in this great healthcare system, someone paid nineteen thousand nine hundred ninety-five dollars. Yeah. Well, but I don't understand. And and your insurance is your insurance covered? I, I don't know. I've just got the, I just had that card. So I don't know. So yeah. you only took it once? Oh, no. You had to do it four times a year. And you got four cards? No. I just had a card that you would, that automatically went. I guess they went to United Healthcare. Oh, I see. And, and every time you did it, you got it for the $5. Yeah. Yeah. Now, how do they go? See, here's what I don't get. 
how do they go from twenty thousand dollars down? Oh well, we'll take five instead. Yeah, but someone's paying the rest of it. So yeah. whether it's United Healthcare or the or getting the money or the hospital, someone's getting that money. I have to. Do. Yeah, but it did it, it did the job for you, didn't it? Look at that. Look, it's not a. It, it, yeah. Do you have, have a spot of it on you anywhere? No, no, no. It used to be. I can I say this? Can I tell? Oh you? yeah. Oh, yeah. I used to go to I go to his house every couple of weeks, right? Oh, there'd be a pile of um, his rug and flakes of skin all over it. Oh, yeah. I mean, and he he was just from it was from head to toe, practically. It was everywhere except the bottoms of my feet and on my face. And on your face. And and would it sometimes go away and disappear, or did it was it always there? It was always there until I started taking this medication. And they took this medication and it went away. Yeah. So it's worth $20,000 or $5 if you got the card. Yeah. And yeah. Amazing. That's terrific. That's terrific. And of course, but I went off it like three, four years ago and I haven't had any problems since. And Mandy, there's nothing wrong with you, right? You're not taking any medicine, are you? Me? Yeah, you. Actually, yes. And they just told me today they had to up it. I was kind of bummed, but I'm going to try not to worry about it. It's just for thyroid. Oh. I take thyroid. What do you have, underactive or overactive? Uh, underactive. Me too. So I've had the same dosage, which is a very low dose, for since 12, 2012. So I know I shouldn't worry. I know I'm just getting older, so it's bound to have to go up at some point. Yeah. You know, she, Mine's doctor, going up over the years. My doctor gave me thyroid. I take thyroid medicine, too. I take yeah. the ge generic. Marjorie takes the full blown. Well, there was a reason. I'm going to talk to him. He felt the reason why he wanted me to take the name brand was because you, his words, you don't know the fillers that they put in it. And a lot of them put in different types of fillers that can hurt people. But I'm going to tell him I want to go on generic. You don't it's care about whether, as long yeah. as you don't care of the problem. Yeah. Exactly. So is that like cocaine? What are the fillers? I don't know. I think they, they, they cut it with mannitol. <laughs> Baby laxatives. Baby laxatives. Probably. <laughs> when I was doing, in the old days when I was with. doing coke a lot, I used to uh, always uh, cut it with mannitol so that I could make it go further and not use as strong. People that dose. sold it cut it with that too. You just make sure they don't they don't use those fillers from the my pillows. <laughs> 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 Shit'll kill you. Have you seen the latest on him? Dude, he, he says he got beat up. No, no, I didn't hear about that. Yeah, he claimed he got assaulted, but there's no evidence and he had no injuries. Oh, I'm sure nobody saw it either. Well, oh, no, no, nobody. He held this, it, what he called a data summit. Where yeah. He's going to give out all the information about how the election was rigged. And uh, he held this thing. And in the middle of it, he got word that the judge in the Dominion case said that they could sue him. Yeah. <laughs> that he had no defense. That he they they could sue him. And he immediately left the stage. <laughs> he said he was going to be there. I'm going to be here for 48 hours until I can't talk anymore. All right. I'm going to keep a what? Okay, see you later. <laughs> the best was the evidence that he showed. He just made PowerPoint slides with a picture of a state and how many people he said voted for Trump. With nothing to back it up, and his, and, his, and his top expert more or less said the guy's fully, you know what, you know. Well, yeah. wait a minute, hold on. So here we've got a guy who started this company, and I don't know what his pillows were like. I never garbage. My mom has them. They are great. They're, they're awful. They are good. Are they? Have you laid on they one? They really are pretty awesome. Did you try it? Yeah, I mean, I I felt. I mean, I changed her sheets. They're really nice pillows, but I mean. She's like uber, you know, liberal. Like she, but she's like, I'm not getting rid of my pillows. <laughs> <laughs> like that Chick Fil A cup you got there, yeah. right? And we had to go to Chick Fil A. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, here's the thing. Here's the thing. It, 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 it's um, he had, I think, a company that was doing pretty damn well. And on the basis of the ads that he did for, you know, clutching the pillow and saying, I love my pillow and so on. And the guy was making a fortune. How much do you figure he's making now? You know, 
Sure nothing. I mean, I you. I, how long do you figure it's going to be before we hear he goes bankrupt? You know. Too long. There's a guy that put out a pillow. I can't remember the name of it. To to fight the my pillow one, and he got great reviews on it. And he put it out purely to, you know. Yeah. I'll have to look that up and get. But he didn't have to compete with the guy. The guy is killing his own business, and I. Yeah. Think you know, he was a big drug addict years ago. And I think really? this is simply yeah. him still being a drug addict. He's not doing drugs, but he's engaging in the behavior that makes people do drugs. You know, like, well, like uh, take, uh, literally t uh, grasping failure out of the hands of success. <laughs> you know, I mean, he he's he's doing all this behavior, which is uh, it's psychotic at best. You know, I mean, not even Trump talks about him. You know, <laughs> but, there he is. Ah, uh, there he is, holding his pillow. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> well, there he is. <laughs> Very good, Andrew. <laughs> That's one big ass pillow. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is the back of Trump. It is. It, it, Trump was wearing a baseball outfit. <laughs> Here, I'll go back to it. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. There it is. <laughs> Great. When was he wearing a baseball? Hat? It's a oh, Photoshop yeah. thing. Uh, He's golfing. golfing. No, that's golfing. That's golfing. Okay. Yeah. That, that is one leaky ass. What morning did Trump <laughs> wake up and say, what the fuck happened to me? No, he's running again. Oh. He, told, he said already he's running. Yeah. Next year of 24. Anybody think Biden's going to run for another term? Not that I want to get into politics here, but I'm just, just asking. In his mind, I think he wants to, but in three years, let's see how how old how old he's he's appearing. He's not going to be older than eighty, isn't he? He was eighty eight yes. when he, he yes. seventy eight seventy eight when he became yeah, president. Okay, so he'd be eighty. He'd be eighty two. As long as he's healthy, I don't see why not. I don't know. I know what I'm like at 81, and uh, I wouldn't have the energy to be president of the. Well, that's you, Alex. I would. Not everybody at that age. You would like you. Oh, oh there you are. Yeah. Biden does well, look like he's in pretty decent shape, though. Who? Who? Biden. Biden. Yeah, he's in decent shape, but you know what I mean. He doesn't look too bad. I think he's wearing. He used a bicycle every day. He uses the bicycle that I have. I, every I think day. he's wearing hearing aids. I could swear yeah. I saw one the other day. Did have you seen it too, Charlie? Well, I believe it. I don't. I haven't seen it myself. But well, well they always have a little up. wire going to his ears so that they can uh, contact him if they have to. Uh, yeah, it might be the it's Secret Service the thing. Service. Really? Oh, yeah. Okay. And there's nothing wrong with yeah having poor hearing. Hearing aids. Oh, there's nothing wrong with that. Oh, what? Huh? huh? <laughs> <laughs> what? I mean, my mom doesn't want to say that again. Is it, it'll buzz in her ear, but she's all constantly saying "huh, huh," you know, have to talk really loud. But my mother doesn't mean she can't think, you know, or not cognizant. Or my mother, not. when she was losing her hearing, rather than admit she was losing her hearing, used to say, "I didn't get that." <laughs> And you'd have to say it again, but she would never say, I couldn't hear it. Right. Or, huh? You know? Uh, and then I said, Mom, we're going to get you hearing aids. And she said, Why are you getting me a hearing aid? I said, For me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because I always had to like shout at her everything, you know? My hearing's still pretty good. Marjorie's is starting to go. You want the subtitles on just as much as I. <laughs> what was the one you were watching the other day and we did, couldn't get subtitles? I can't remember. <laughs> I had to put subtitles on Handmaid's Tale. I couldn't follow that show. Well, a lot of, you two are great checking on shows that are terribly British. 
You said you well, what we were talking on um, Peaky Blinders. Yeah, and you're oh, the one who told sure. me to do that. For sure. And it made uh, it much more enjoyable, didn't it? Yeah. 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 I saw it twice. And the first time was without the subtitles. And then I got Alex to watch it. And we put the subtitles on. It was like two thirds. You're like, oh, now I understand what they're talking about here. Yeah. Now uh, I can hear them. Try watching Dairy Girls without subtitles. What's Dairy, what's Dairy Girls? <laughs> Dairy Girls it's, tough. It's, a great, it's a great little show about these girls in Ireland. Um, and it, the accents are so thick. And it's a hilarious show, but that's what I put on the titles. I enjoyed it much more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I, I find with British shows, I have to do it. And I'm doing it on a lot of stuff now, too. I think maybe it's the TV sets aren't set so that we can hear them really well. The new new TVs, you got to have a sound bar because they don't have speakers. They have sound ribbons in them. Yeah. My, my living room TV, if it's not put the sound bar, I can't hear anything. What do you mean sound ribbon? Any it's it's a very thin vibrating ribbon that, that creates the sound and they know that unless you're in a small enclosed room the sound sucks but they do have sound bars for almost the same price of your tv that you can plug in to get the sound yeah. that you oh, almost and if you buy two you get the second one for free just pay an extra fee yeah. you don't need speakers around the room no you don't need them around the room but you need the the at least Four. the sound bar under the tv and maybe a subwoofer but yeah, the, the new the most new televisions don't have speakers that are for large rooms. Right. I bought I, a, a I sound, didn't even know that. Yeah. I, I have a sound bar in the guest room. And I'm thinking of putting a sound bar in the living room. Uh, they're not bad. They're pretty good. They're the best way of getting decent surround sound. And they, they are some of them are expensive, but you can get them as low as about 150 bucks, something like that. Yeah. You know. That's what I paid. Huh? That's yeah. what you paid for yours? Yeah. 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 One, the bedroom one, the living room. And did, did, did it have, uh, have a uh, booster, a, a base? A sub, yeah, a subwoofer, yeah. Subwoofer, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, I um, I have one in my, uh, uh, in my, in the guest room, the TV set is, uh, has a, a very nice sound bar on it. So, I, you know, uh, it was, it's a, actually, it's a Samsung sound bar, believe it or not. Yeah. That I got for like $100 more when I bought the TV set at, uh, at Costco. Uh, but uh, Costco, we went to Costco this week. That, see, that, yes, was that, that was our exciting. That was our day. That was our day out. I found, because I'm on a low carb diet, I found this, these uh, chocolate caramel caramel salted ice cream dipped in chocolate dipped in chocolate that has oh like my god two carbohydrates and i am hooked on them well both of us yeah we've been having one a night <laughs> what's the brand uh, keto? it says keto okay. it just says keto. Only at costco i don't know well, we got them at costco they they probably sell them elsewhere too didn't have a Kirkland name on it. Yeah, I'm sure you the Costco and Costco near us. They've got keto hamburger buns. Really? <laughs> yeah, they're just like real hamburger buns. But yeah, first, that's first hamburger bun I've had in ten years. To do that with all there's, kinds. There's and how how is it? Are they taste? They, they taste just like regular hamburger buns. They just a cost lot more. Good, a lot of good keto there's, bread. They're just so expensive. Yep. I get these bread. They're like ten dollars, eleven dollars a loaf of bread. Yeah, it's cheaper than a new oh, pair of pants. I found this bread. I got to tell you about this. Oh, it's knows it's this. faux bread. It's but, not. No, it's this bread faux. I found at the local grocery store, and it comes from a bakery out in Brooklyn. And I looked at it one day to see because I always see well, how many carbs does something have because I'm on a low carb diet, and it said. Uh, a three a three carbs a serving there are five servings in there so 15 carbs a loaf i'm going that's like no carbs at all so i tried it and it's okay it's fine you know i warm it up a little bit and it tastes really good and i it, it fills me up and it's fine so bread i keep looking at the the, <laughs> the thing every time i buy it to see if they've changed the carb count because something was wrong. And it's been five years now. 
and they don't change the carb count. You you remember the Subway subs scandal with the carbs? They had a low carb wrap for years. Yeah. And they got too expensive. And without making any announcement, they just switched out the wrap. So it went from like one carb to 15 carbs. Wow. And all these people that were going there for lunch because they were Atkins guys back in the day were, were it triggers you to eat more. And finally, they admitted that they weren't that they weren't actually low carb wraps. I think they wanted to save money on changing out the menus. The, the menu boards up the well, I, I bought some wraps at the Costco the other day that I'm going to try because they have almost no net carbs. I think they have zero net carbs. It's a, uh, it's a wrap, you know, uh, but it's cauliflower. Yeah. I'm just wondering how good that can taste, but I'm the cauliflower it. pizza crusts are really good. Yeah. Really? I have cauliflower flour. Yeah, cauliflower flour, almond flour. They're making great stuff yeah. with it. Cauliflower yeah. flour, flour. I hear I hear cannibals like the keto diet too. Is that comes <laughs> from the cauliflower flour flour? What did you say, Andrew? I didn't hear that. Can cannibals are into the keto diet. Yeah. yeah. I tried it out, but the, the clown tasted funny. <laughs> <laughs> We were lucky we had we had a Scottish neighbor, so we had Angus for a while. It was good. <laughs> oh. so you be you be quiet down there, Charlie. You could be ground chuck. What were you saying, Ray? We're gonna have a turkey shortage. What? We're gonna have a turkey shortage? Yeah, we're not gonna have turkeys for Thanksgiving because there's gonna be a shortage. Oh God. Well, why are we having a shortage on turkeys? Because apparently the ideal weight for most people for a turkey is 14 pounds, but it's not economically feasible for the growers of turkeys to grow or hard, whatever you want to call it, 14 mm -hmm. pound turkey. So you'll be able to get a 20 pound turkey, no problem. But the 14 pound turkey, uh -uh. Really? Yeah. yeah. And the prices are going to go up this this week. This uh -huh. um, have you, have you, have, have, meat have you, has gone up so high. How many here, people here buy meat? Okay. Have you seen the prices lately? Oh, uh, the price of beef is ridiculous. Yeah. I used to get maybe three, <laughs> two flank steaks at, at Costco. And in the pack, they come to about $27. This is just about a year ago. They're over fifty dollars now. I can't afford to eat meat anymore. How about the four sirloins? They were like almost a hundred. No, they were eighty. Yeah. That's almost yeah. I mean, it's just amazing the price of meat. And usually, you go to Costco, and the meat's cheaper there. You know. So it, it's not. It's not. It, it, it. Prices on everything are just going cr crazy. So. You want to know a hack on that? What? If you have a friend, if you have a friend who has a restaurant, uh, this is the hack on that. No pun intended. Um, at Costco, you can go and buy the whole round. And if you have somebody who owns a restaurant, somebody knows they're butchering, um, you can get whatever chops or steaks or whatever that you want done at the thickness that you want. If you just you know give them to do that, and the the price is way down, and you get exactly what you want. That's a little life hack. Yeah. Extra years. Years. So, all that. But the, the first thing you're, you're mentioning there is you have to be able to know somebody yeah. that can do that. And then and buy a side of beef. I mean, and you have to have another freezer to put it all in. Well, do you remember years ago, you, you could buy a side of beef and then they would chop it up or something into yeah. various things. That was a, My a parents that's, that's, that's what I do. All around, though. That's not that big. It's just about, you know, like that. Yeah. I'm lucky to have Amish friends. I buy half of a calf when it's a baby and they raise it. And then we, I get half and he gets half and the butcher takes care of it. Comes out to about three and a half bucks, a hanging pound. Yeah, really? in my freezer, yeah. Oh, I thought you were joking. You know, everything no. was a joke usually. So I thought no. you had a punchline to this thing. I don't joke about beef. <laughs> <laughs> Although I do wonder if those cannibals get upset when their kids don't eat all the vegetarians on their plate. <laughs> <laughs> But but no, I, I do. I get a half a half a cow every, I don't know, 12, 14 months. And the Amish butcher cuts it up and packages it. And I keep it in the freezer. Wow. 
And we, I start by buying the actual calf. And then he gets raised on the, on the farm. By the way, speaking of one-liners, I heard a great one-liner the other day. I was watching an old TV thing with, uh, with uh, Rodney Dangerfield on the uh, Carson show. And he had a line. He said, I, I, my wife hadn't been having sex with me lately, so I asked her, is there anybody else? And she says, there must be. <laughs> hopefully. Uh, yeah, hopefully, yeah, yeah. So, Shecky, what are you watching on TV these days? Uh, season two of Below Deck. Season two of Below Deck. Oh, you've gotten to see, gone to season two, huh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What is it about Below Deck? Anybody watch the show Below Deck? Med was it Mediterranean you're watching? Yeah, but I still prefer, I told you, I prefer the show The Cruise. The, the Cruise is a big cruise ship? Well, it's not set on usually princess cruise ships. Oh, really? I didn't know they had a below deck crew. Uh, uh, well, it's called the cruise. Oh, the cruise. Oh, okay. But the below deck series, I think, is only below deck uh, Mediterranean. There's below deck that takes place in the Gulf of Mexico, I think. Right. That was the original one. And then there's below deck, uh, but it's a smaller ship. It's like a, a sailing ship or, a little, you know, whatever. But, you know, again, you know, not to get into this too much, they cast the crew. You think they cast the crew? Oh, come on. This is going to be the villainous character this year. This is going to be the sweet girl. This is going to be the slut. You know, it's... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how would you feel if you're, a, if you're a woman and they're casting the show and they say, well, we need a slut and you'd be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> well, I really like... Alex, but I also like Andrew, and then he's, you know, then she's caught kissing Steve, you know. <laughs> okay, I can't believe there's people on this panel that watch Bravo shows. I thought that was only me. I, I no, would, Alex. Oh, oh, you watch it? You watch it too? Well, I, I have watched Below Deck, but I was totally a big fan of Vanderpump Rules. Oh, really? Well, that one I've never seen. Oh, yeah. yeah. My but wife it's, loved it. It's still going to go on, but I don't think I'm going to watch it anymore. I feel like again, I've you know, they go into an edit room with this footage and they know how, like, you know, Survivor or Bachelorette or Bachelor, and they know how to edit it into a storyline. Yeah, they create a narrative. Yeah. yeah. Do you feel guilty watching it? I mean, think of all the wonderful things in your life you've watched, all the great movies. Yeah, can you not have one on, and then it all comes down. guilty pleasure? Yeah, but it's all come down to this. Yeah, but I'm also sitting here watching Charlie Chase two reelers from 1935. So you know, does anybody know who Charlie Chase was? Huh? I know who he was. I do. Wasn't even alive when Checky was born, right? You, it, no, he died in 1940. He died. Alcohol in the, yeah. Alcoholic. Yeah. A what? Alcoholic. Alco. Alco. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Should I watch The White Lotus? Everyone's talking about this show. I heard about it too. I'm yeah, I haven't seen it. it. Yeah, if, if, I gather the last episode ran maybe last night or something. Yeah, no. It's it's interesting. It's not great. <sighs> really? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's it's. I, I started rewatching Weeds. I haven't I hadn't seen the whole series. I, I, I like Weeds until so we got towards the last season, and that just got a little ridiculous. It it yeah. did, but it it it's funny because. You know, you talk about human memory. I remembered in my head the entire first episode. And then I realized when I rewatched it, it's an episode I fabricated in my own head because the first episode just sort of starts in the middle of something. Yeah. In my head, I remembered the whole, you know, how it how it came to be. So it was really odd watching it. I was like, I think I missed something here. And then all the stuff that I had in my head happened over the first three episodes. So yeah, but those, those last stuff. couple of seasons just kind of. Yeah. Petered out. Doesn't that happen with most series? Yes. Yeah, they stay at the party yes. too long. Yeah. But they it was worth it. Right now with Grace and Frankie. Oh, no. yeah. I figured yeah. that would happen. The first three or four seasons of that show I thought were really, really clever and all that. And, and, and they just released four episodes. I guess that's their COVID season. My wife and I inhaled them over the weekend. And, uh, we both remarked to each other, this show was really, really clever at the beginning, and it just seems like 
I don't there know. Are few, there are the few, probably. You know what you didn't know? stay? You know what didn't stay too long at the fair <clears throat> or at the party, uh, and, and and finished really well was the Kaminsky method. Yeah. Oh, they're not yeah. finished. I yeah, just finished, finished that. I it ended that. great. That was it. The I was kind of disappointed in that too. Oh, it I loved it. Happy what happened, but still, you know. But did you see the third season? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you. I just like finished it? it last night. Oh, I liked it. I liked it a lot. But also, three seasons, we're done. Thank yeah. you. Let's move Peace. on. And yeah. they did a very, they did a very smart thing. They didn't have what's his name, Alan Arkin. Alan, Alan Arkin. Arkin didn't want to do the season. Yeah, yeah, didn't want to do the season. He only said in the beginning he would do two seasons. So he, but yet he was there. He, he, not even a lot of things, but just a lot, lot of references to him. Yeah. Uh, so he was. Oh, the character was always there, and it was really done very well. I think they ended. He wasn't good. Hmm. What? What's her name that played the wife? What? Oh, 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 uh, oh, what's her name? Yeah. I don't no. think she was good. Well, I'm trying to remember her name now. Catherine something. Her name yeah. Kathleen Turner. Kathleen Turner. Yes, yes. Oh, oh, yeah. Or the ultimate waking up in the morning and looking in the mirror and say, what the fuck happened to me? <laughs> yeah. You know, I mean. <laughs> the um, ultimate. <laughs> the ultimate. Yeah. Definitely. But you know what I loved about that show? They showed pictures of her when she was younger, some film of her that they passed off as her when she was younger. Uh, and um, you could see then, then it made sense that, that uh, Douglas was in love with her one time. Yeah. Because, well, they were she married. Was, because she was a very sexy woman and now she's gotten older and it's the same actress. So you see how age can literally terrorize you. Yeah. With her voice, with me though, man, that's Jessica Rabbit. That's all I think. Yes, yes. <laughs> and I can't help that voice. And that's I forgot about that. that. I still hear Jessica. That was the best line. I can't help it. I'm drawn that way. You know what? I never was able to figure out about her though in her career. If you watch a lot of her pictures, she kept changing her accent. Yeah. Her accent. It depend on the role, maybe. No, it didn't depend on the role. You could see her in an interview, and her accent was different in each interview. Kind of like Madonna. It's really, yes, yeah, like yeah. Madonna. Yeah. Good example. Good example. But she got the British accent. Yeah, but right. that was a show that I think ended perfectly. And what it ended show? when it should have. The Kaminsky method. Oh, it was great. Yeah, I was so happy when he won. I was like, this is the best way to wrap it up. Yeah, we don't need a fourth season of this. We've, right. we've done it. Yeah. And I mean, Seinfeld was very smart at nine at, at seasons, uh, which is a lot. He just said, that's it. You know, we don't we, we want to go out with people loving us. We don't want to go out with people saying, boy, that show's really gotten bad. I find the king of that method is uh, Ricky Gervais. I mean, that guy, he has been in so many shows over the pond where they just left you wanting more. Like there was a lot more that they could have done with the original office and they didn't do it. I think that's, um, I think that's a British and, and, thing. I think the well, British yeah. also the, the latest. No, so smart. Yeah. I'm trying to remember the name of it, but the latest one he did about he Afterlife. Afterlife, Afterlife great. Great. is brilliant. Have you seen it, Checky? Brilliant. No, no, I haven't got it. Why were you it's really talk. good? It's really it's good. Really good. It's Especially really season good. one. Season three is almost done filming. They're working on it now. Yeah. Yes, yes. He it's keeps really it's, it's a really great it's show. It's wonderful. And yeah. I'm not a fan of his. Yeah. Name. No, the English are good. Like 12 perfect episodes of Faulty Towers, and that's it. Right. Yep. Well, but they also do six episodes a season. So right. you have the same writer usually well, doing them right. all. The show, yeah, like he, you have 22. He, you know, bring other teams on, yeah. Well, the show he did that I absolutely loved and Marjorie loved, but uh, the world hated was Life is Short. Oh, that's one of the oh, I loved it. That my favorite sweet. piece of comedy uh, ever is in that show with Liam Neeson talking about being a role playing, being a doctor. Oh my God, that that is one of the best <laughs> things ever. The Liam Neeson, yeah. Yeah. Thing. They were to close it because of yes, the, I'm, no, but he said I'm tired. Liam Neeson says I'm tired of doing these serious parts. I want to do comedy. Right. <laughs> I want to do comedy. And then he does comedy. He's just horrible. <laughs> did, you, did you watch um extras the ricky gervais show yeah yes. that's oh, really good better too. after really life good. i thought it was better yeah i didn't like the one he did one 
Yeah, the one where he's in the nursing home. He's a retard in the nursing home. Yeah, not good. Home. Yeah. <laughs> not good. Dex, what was it called? It had the guy's name or something. The guy's name. Yeah. yeah. It's based on a guy, though. It's based on uh, his friend who he's done podcasts with. Yeah, I couldn't watch um, it. I watched like three episodes. Yeah. Well, listen, I just looked at the clock. Another fun hour with each other. <laughs> God damn it. Why are you guys so nice and decent and fun to talk to? <laughs> It's time for uh, season two. Yeah. <laughs> it's time for season two. <laughs> right. <laughs> Who said that? Vernon. Oh. You didn't see his lips move? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder anyway. what the masking thing is doing for ventriloquists. <laughs> right? for ventriloquists. I, want, I want that green screen mask. <laughs> My, mine isn't big enough. Oh, well, goodbye. Uh, uh, Oh, I, well, no, wait a minute. Here's, 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 well, here, I can't do it because I'm not using the green screen. But I have this green putty that I use for my hands uh, for uh, just, it's, it's a gel and I use it for the arthritis. And I, when I've got the green screen, I can I put this up and I got a hole in it. Really cool. Anyway. What is that? Is, is He's it, in the lobby. It must be an announcement in the lobby. We'll be in one hour. Uh, anyway, hey, listen, uh, Steve Bender, thank you. Thank you. Rick Sheckman, as always. Uh, Mandy, it's always wonderful to see you there in lovely and attractive Georgia. Uh, at least it's lovely and attractive because you're there. Okay. Oh, hi. I mean, nice I am. I mean. Andrew Deutsch, thank you. Thank you, Edward Berger, Mike Chisholm. Always nice to hear from our Canadian friends, as well as Trucker Steve, who is also in Canada. Uh, and, of course, Charlie Wallace down there in Texas. Wish I saw you more often lately, but, you know, I realize you got to work. Vernon Dunn, thank you so much uh, for uh, – what, what, what is the thing on your hand again? I forgot. Uh, I've got uh, arthritis in this hand, and this is a compression glove. It really helps my joints. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Hey, hey, I forgot that. someone. What? <laughs> forgot someone. <laughs> oh, yeah, Marjorie, 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 can be a Marjorie, thank, you, thank you to Marjorie Myler for joining us today. <laughs> uh, yeah. Thank Boys, you. Let's <laughs> everybody, why don't you wave goodbye and I'll just uh, end this whole thing. All right. Bye bye, everybody. <laughs>